All right, <clears throat> well today I'm going to uh, replace the door lock cylinders, uh, pull the sun visors because this one here on the driver's side is broke and I keep hitting my head on it, and detail out the engine bay. So let's get started. Oh, and uh, replace the uh, rear view mirror. All right, well one thing here is I uh, never received keys and I've looked all over this car and I can't find any for the doors I just the ignition is the only thing I have keys for so I'm just looking at uh, replacing these uh, locks yep and another thing I've noticed here on this door is this anti-rattle clip right here has no felt on it this one up front here it does but I'll check it and see how the felt is I went ahead and got this uh, kit for doing the replacing those. all right well what I'm gonna do is just take me up a black marker and uh, Mark this here for orientation. Kind of what's up and down. All right, well, I just got the uh, standard brand. Anyhow, your little orientation mark should line up what's right there. You can see the, uh, the, the actual lock itself, and that's where the key... supposed to the that's where the key lines up on the tumblers right there where the mark where the mark is and that's up and then we just take this paw off put it on this one in the same position and we're good to go And naturally, I left my uh, needle nose pliers out there. We'll just try some regular get that thing to stop shaking all right I ended up just using the vise clamp that in there and pop that off uh, need to make sure that it puts it all in at the same orientation just like that there and I'll probably have to put this back in the uh, vise here to uh, put that back in. Alright, now we'll put her back in there, check it out, see how it works. Alright, well it's kind of difficult uh, 
videoing uh, putting that in there but I've got that in and I just need to work that clip up there on that lock a little better uh, I think probably what I'll do is uh, get in here like this stay away from that glass and uh, kind of pry that into place just baby pushes I don't want to get too carried away but I I can't do that in video at the same time so that's the uh, method that I'm gonna put it in there. Okay, so I got that clip all up in there. This flashlight. Check it out. See if the uh, see if the key still turns. in there we go locked unlocked locked unlocked all right Now these had a linkage that went from here to here and then from here to here up here by the handle. This is what gets people in trouble is this binds up and then they get locked out of their car. Well alright I got that in there. It was a little too difficult to do with the camera and get any footage but it's a uh, Although the key has to go in upside down, but it locks. And unlocks. And it unlocks, so that's all I really care about, that I can lock it. All right, well, we got a little bit of rain. I don't think it's enough to mount to anything, but a little bit. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, take these sun visors out of here for right now. And I got a new mirror coming should be here today because this thing I'm going to take to a couple shows this weekend if everything turns out okay so let's get started on that
right, well I got that clip out without damage in it. That's good. The spring. just in time for the garbage truck. All right, why we're here, check this out. So I got a little bit of a paint touch up in here new cap and rotor plug wires now this would have had a chrome piece that went across here and it's missing but oh well it is what I got but yeah it's looking a little better Alright, well I went with a 8 inch mirror instead of the 10 inch because uh, it's kind of a small windshield anyhow.